My name is Adam Crook. My name is Lindsay Sellers. Hey, my name is Cam. My name is Greg Smale. When I joined the programme, I was already on my internship at the Glasgow Warriors from my undergrad course. And one of the coaches there had highly recommended the course and that's why I came through to Edinburgh. I'm from Edinburgh um, and it was a well-respected programme. Um, so I kind of knew where I wanted to get to within strength and conditioning and this was the obvious next step to do that. A lot of the theory was based over a day and a half of the week, so that gave you a lot of time to go away and put the theory that you'd learn in class into a practical setting. It's a balance of having classroom lectures, uh, as well as presentations, uh, group discussions, um, and then bringing the knowledge that we gain in the classroom, applying it in the gym, or whether that's out on the pitch or in one of the sports halls as well. A lot of my time as a student in my day was based as an internship through in Glasgow. I worked within Scottish Rugby. I was interning full time. I was in there most mornings, most afternoons. We would then come back to university for a couple of lectures in the afternoon, uh, possibly come back into the gym, uh, have a lifting session together, followed by most likely in the evening heading to the library, uh, getting stuck into coursework, preparing for dissertation or exams. Oh, our facility in our programme just can't be better. We were able to use some of the facilities on campus, um, the gym in here um, being the main one. This gym has everything you need to become a good strength and conditioning coach. On top of that, for your dissertations, you get a choice of different equipment that you want to use. Your eyes open to a lot of stuff that you would use within the practical setting as well. Right after you finish uh, your coursework or finish your reading at the library, you can enjoy life in Edinburgh. Socialising with friends, at whether that be up the road at Pleasant's Gym, going for a climbing session, uh, playing squash, going to the swimming pool here in St Leonard's Land, or possibly down to the beach at Portobello or having a barbecue. There are lots of restaurants, bars, shops in the town centre near the university. Everywhere is closed. As well as student night life of going out and having a party once in a while. Edinburgh is just it's always a great buzz, great vibe around town. With the Fringe Festival starting, it brings a really rich uh, diversity in international culture. Edinburgh as a place to study or for a student to live in is fantastic. It has a great mix of uh, work and play. That's something I would encourage anyone to experience.